All right, we're going to talk about how to take apart a Motorola record player stereo and um, how to ground uh, the iPod adapter. First thing we need to do is, um, well, let's take off the, uh, the platter since we have to replace the, uh, the tension spring anyway. To remove the uh, spindle, you want to take off the C-clip, which I've already done. And then we're going to just uh, lift the spindle off of, I mean the platter off of the spindle. Make sure that the little washer doesn't come off and stays down there where it belongs. This is what it looks like. This is the spring that you'll be replacing right here. This is what a new spring looks like installed. And it just attaches from here to over here. Um, next thing we've got to do is remove the amp cover. To do so, we want to take out the four screws. There's two on each side. I've already loosened them. One, two, then on the other side, three, four, four screws, and just lift the amp cover straight up. And just set it so. connected with this cable. We don't want to disconnect that at this point. There's no reason to. And these are the uh, two wires left and right cartridge output which connect here underneath the changer. I've already removed the six. One, two, three, four, five, six mounting screws. And now we can lift the uh, whole deck including the platter out of the, the uh, compartment. To do so, we want to grab it back here, gently lift up. You can also grab the spindle. It's a good place to grab things. It supports a lot of weight. And we just want to turn this and set it in place. Just like that. Leave the wires connected. This is the power wire and switch wire. And here's your left and right uh, output from the cartridge into the amplifier. Now we're going to, this is not yours, and this is not one with an iPod adapter, so I'm going to switch over to another changer that has the iPod adapter situation. It's right here. All right, you've got a, this... Mm, terminal strip that's been installed and it's been screwed to the chassis and this particular lug right here is a grounding lug and there shouldn't be anything going to it right now. What we want to do these are the two wires left and right that go to your iPod or iPhone input jack and this is the uh, connections left and or left and right and this is ground what we need to do is ground this terminal to this terminal that can be done with a, a grounding wire or um, clips but I'm just going to use a wire put a little hook on each side hook there and a hook here which electronically connects these two terminals and just a little solder will hold that in place and we want to short these out um, that will take our wiring ground to chassis ground all right that's our goal then just put everything back goes back the same way it came apart just grab the uh, spindle and manipulate the changer into position. You want to set the front end first. 
and then let the back come down into place. Grab your amp cover and just set it in place. We want it to go straight down and it goes in this groove behind here, behind the uh, changer deck. <laughs> Make sure all the wires are tucked in. Of course, I've got a wild wire here. Tuck that up under there and manage this down into position. It's a tight fit, but it fits perfect. And put your screws back in on the sides and your six mounting screws in the deck. Uh, put your platter back on. Oh, wait, while you have this out, you're going to probably want to replace the spring. That's a great time to replace the spring is when you have this chassis out in this position where you can access the motor from both sides. And replace this little spring. There you can see it. That's the spring you need to replace. All right. There you go.